Hello. For this video, I'm going to show you. Um, somebody has asked me how I keep my embellishments and I don't know other stuff organized. Um, these are all just. This is my box of, and I recently just went through and redid this again. This, these are all, um, not necessarily my embellishments, but just do the stuff that that I can use to put on cards. This, I used to call this my surprise box because I would just throw everything in here and then I would just dig through all the time to find stuff. But um, I actually went through the other day and I put everything in an envelope, separated it, and then alphabetized it. So in this envelope, I've got alphabets, some big alphabets. Um, then I've got some animals in here. And I had a lot of cats and dogs, so I put those in here. This is Asian stuff. These are backgrounds. These are backgrounds. These are backgrounds. Um, these are bows and buttons. Um, this is all birthday stuff. And a birthday box. Um, butterflies. Cigar bands. Die cuts and edges and stuff. Um, these are all just embellishments that I, I started that I need to finish. So I put those in here. Um, ephemera, a thing of ephemera. Some flowers. Most of these are 3D flowers. Um, these are all other flowers and trees and leaves and whatever. Um, pictures and cutouts. These are flowers that have been stamped that need to be colored in. This envelope is full of foods, different things that have to do with food. So I've got like orders and a couple. These are really weird. <laughs> Some rubber, rubber doilies um, and a couple empty bottles. And then just some miscellaneous stuff that I had sitting around. So like pens, ink pens, and more miscellaneous stuff. And my daughter gave me these. These are so cute. She loves little, <laughs> little guy here. And so she's been saving the, the little Baby Yoda calendar sheets for me so I can see if I can come up with a card idea out of those. These are religious sheets and um, Bible verses and stuff. These are seasonal things. These are just pictures of people, ca uh, cartoons of people, anything that has to do with people clothing for people. So I've got like the, the dresses that I made, the origami dresses. Um, barn doors are in here. Um, some rugs are in here and other things, furniture and stuff for the house, um, for people's houses. Paint brushes. Um, and these are just a bunch of pictures of household furniture and whatever. These are all scenery from calendars. And this is a water pictures of water and anything that has to do with the water so and this was everything that I had in this box and another box actually it was this this box this container here so everything that I had in both of these boxes then I was able to go through and separate them all and put them in the in this box like this so now it's going to be so much easier for me to just go ahead and start grabbing so I can just grab the backgrounds and I can start putting those on cards um, that'll that'll get rid of those and as I'm getting rid of them, then I can put the extra envelopes in the way back here. So, so that's that's my plan, anyways. So I wanted to share this because that was a request um, to show how I separate my my other embellishments. So and how I organize them. So this is this is my other way that I that I do. Um, the you've seen my my flat rack embellishments and stuff. The items that I get for my flat racks. Um, I pretty much do the same exact thing. I have those all separated in envelopes and stuff too. Um, and I actually have two boxes of these for the flat rack stuff now. Um, so I just have these two boxes for the flat rack. I have this one box for my, my own personal stuff. And then I've got my bigger box that has all of my prepackaged um, embellishments that I've made. So, all right, so that's it. That's how I, I've organized. So I hope this gives you an, an idea. I've done this for many years, as a matter of fact. I, I kind of go back and forth and go back to this when I get too many. Um, because this seems to be the, the go back to 
So, and when you got a lot of stuff laying around and you need to just separate it all, then grab one of these empty shoe boxes or even just a cardboard box. So, I mean, this one here was actually a cookie box. So, <laughs> and I just put my strip, my tape strips around it, taped it on there. So, um, so there you go. That that's that's how I deal with my all my ephemera and all the pictures and and doodads that I put on cards. So I hope this is helpful for you. If it is and you like this type of video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have other specific videos that you'd like to to see, then if I can do them for you, I certainly will. And I appreciate the the request. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye bye.